Hello there and welcome to another trike bike video. In this video we're going to be fitting the front disc brake and making all the adjustments. Once the front wheel is unpacked you can see on the left hand side there is a thread on the hub. This is where we attach the disc brake to. The disc brake has a collar on one side and bolts on the other and it is simply a matter of screwing it on you'll take a few turns and when you get it to seat you then need to put some effort in and really push hard that'll lock it in place once we have the disc on it's necessary to wind the wheel axle nuts out this gives us enough clearance when we're putting the front wheel into the frame through the front forks so we align it drop it down gently and get it positioned in place then we tighten the nuts just by hand and that'll stop the front wheel moving around unnecessarily while we're making future adjustments this is the disc brake caliper and we need to remove these two screws from the left hand side which is one of the uh, brackets which holds it onto the frame once the screws are removed it's in a matter of sliding it over the disc itself positioning the holes so you can put the screws that were just removed through the forks and into the disc brake caliper we now need to tighten everything up using the proper tools in this case it's a five millimeter allen key and the torque setting is 10 newton meters if you don't have a torque wrench i suggest just doing it nice and firm These two screws are what are used to adjust the caliper position to make it align properly with the brake. We can see now by moving we've got quite a bit of movement in the alignment so we now need to go and make adjustments. This is a pretty hard to see shot but what we're doing is we're shining a light behind the bike and you can see how much gap and movement there is between the disc itself and the disc pads so it's necessary to adjust the pads to get proper alignment if you watch now you'll see I'm winding in the top knurled screw and you can see the whole caliper moving sideways first the top and then the bottom now the correct position for this is with the inside pad that's the one closest the wheel just skimming the disc itself so I'm just making some final adjustments here to get it aligned properly and then we need to adjust the outside pad which is what we call the live pad this small 2.5 millimeter allen key fits into here and as you tighten it up it reduces the amount of movement in the uh, lever arm so that means we're adjusting the the pads correctly you need to get it so there's about one centimeter of movement here we've put some old uh, brakes on a bench just to give you a better view you can see we're winding the pad in and it's reduced the amount of movement in that lever so it's now ideal the final step is putting the uh, cable back down through the forks it goes through the little spigot on top of the caliper you align it and go down one side is recessed and that's the side that you want to fit into it and then we undo the bottom bolt and slide the cable through once the cable is in position everything is connected firmly 
and then you're ready for any final adjustments and you can go out riding. Again, here's a close-up shot showing you the correct sequence. So the cable goes into the little uh, spigot. We then feed it through the brake arm, get everything nice and tight, pull the cable tight and then tighten up the uh, top bolt. That's it. Once you've done these adjustments, fine tune and you're ready to go riding.